Iowa State's Larry Eustace is the man, and what he let us in on is what he believes to be the secret to his team's success this season, practice. The Cyclones put it to use this season with a 14-2 Big 12 record as the follow-up to last season's 6-10. The result is a two-seed in the Midwest, and a how'd you do that from Scott Walker. One, two, three, team together. Another practice for the Big 12 champion Iowa State Cyclones. But today, head coach Larry Eustace treats his team as if it's in last place, not first. Yeah, we got guys slipping, falling down. We got guys being held. They don't disengage from them. You happen to be here on a day when our team, in my opinion, their heads could barely get in the room. We're not releasing after the block out. We're not rebounding down. They're instant heroes. They've done something that's never happened in 55 years. To hell with that. That's over. And, and this team has to get better in a short period of time, Mel, or, or this season's going to be over. They're getting ointment put on their back before practice because they've been slapped on the back so many times. So it isn't just going to work out. You're going to have to make it happen. I thought they had to be reminded that um, um, we have flaws. I don't know what the hell you guys expect, but it's no good. Let's go. On the brink of March Madness, Eustachie and his staff prepare their team mentally as much as physically. The Cyclones have lost just twice since November, but repairing their breakdowns remains the top priority. I think we might rebound for about a half an hour today. You guys agree? It's, it's, I mean, it's just, it's killing us, isn't it? When we really want to rebound, we can do it selectively, and we're really concentrating. And when we don't, Stevie, we can get our ass kicked big time on the boards, can't we? And we got to come up with the loose balls and the rebounds. Teams are very, very vulnerable after losses. And after wins is the time you can really get your point across. We don't get a lot of recognition from our coaching staff for the things we're doing right just because they don't want us to, uh, you know, get, get too big-headed or lay down. It seems like we're never doing anything right, you know, but you ask us in practice, and that's, that's just making us better. I don't say it's being negative. I, I think it's just being um, direct. Well, sure as hell, that ball was shot, and you just faded away. Now, I want you to go rebound the ball. It's a big part of what we're trying to do. No matter how he delivers his messages, his team has responded, especially on the boards. Eustachie's team is the smallest in the Big 12, but still out-rebounded its opponents on the season. It goes back to the practices. It goes back to getting the players mentally tough and able to overachieve and play against bigger opponents and come out on top. Well, I think that's, that's, that's had something to do with those practices, the rebounding, because we, you know, we start our taller guys, 6'7", we look like a high school team with three dubs. Just get on this post right here. Yeah, the first thing, I, at least I'd three-quarter him and not let him catch it. I think the player wants to be coached. I know he does, and I know he wants to be directly told how to do it. And uh, they don't want any softness. They, 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 they want to be, they want to be pushed. Now go get it, Martin. Go get it. Go get it. How much of my job is done in practice? I always tell the players that practice is 99% of it, and it's. Uh, I don't. I don't think that that there's a need for me to even be at the games. In theory. Our goal is to outwork everybody in our conference in practice, and we always say before the game. Um, I, I don't think this team we're about ready to play is out practice us. So we should win this game. One, two, three. Team together.